Hey guys, I know some of you have been looking for a new video from us, but we ran out of ingredients, so I was forced to go back out in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. I ended up at this house. Let's hope it's abandoned, and let's hope there's some food here. Just what I was looking for, a kitchen. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Salt potatoes, perfect. Cooking with the vegan zombie. Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Vegan Zombie. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck are salt potatoes? Now the salt potato is a classic dish that developed here in the central New York region millions of years ago, long before the zombie apocalypse, of course. I have a bag of salt potatoes right here, which are basically just small potatoes picked early in the summer. About that big. Now there's a real simple rule to follow. One pound of salt for every four pounds of potatoes. Don't get all scared. I know there's a lot of salt, but that's how it cooks. The salt coats the skin of the potato, actually keeping the water from getting in so you don't have a real gross, mushy potato. You actually have a sort of baked potato in boiling water. That's crazy, isn't it? But it works. Let me show you how. So I got some boiling water. I'm going to add a pound of salt. Go pound salt. <laughs> and of course, the taters. Potato. We're working with boiling water here, so try not to burn your hands off. You want to cook them until they can just poke with a fork all the way through. It's probably going to take me 20 minutes, but if you make a whole ton of potatoes, it might take a little longer. Now, while those taters are boiling, we're going to make our butter sauce. And when I was a kid, my mom used to just make butter and boringness. But we're going to switch it up tonight. We're going to put some shallots and some garlic in there. We're going to start with a half a cup of Earth Balance buttery spread. And we're going to put it on low heat in a small saucepan. Really low heat. You just want to get it into liquid form. You don't want anything to burn. While that's melting down, I'm going to mince up a couple cloves of garlic. I kind of like this new kitchen. Now, you got to be careful when you're mincing up this garlic because although it scares the vampires away, it actually attracts the zombies. We're going to mince up one shallot which is very similar to a small onion or a smonion, if you will. And last, a small handful of fresh parsley. We're going to clean up our mess. And then we're going to mince it up. We're going to put all of our minced shallots and garlic into the butter. Butter, I hardly... Boop. And you're just going to want to lightly simmer it for about 10 minutes. You don't want to burn that garlic. All right, guys. I took the liberty to strain the potatoes. They're ready to be eaten. I'm just going to do a little drizzleization effect on top with our butter. The pot and the pan and the soup. Oh yeah. That's what we're looking for right there. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on there. It smells good. I can't wait to taste it. Well, there you have it, guys. A simple recipe from Syracuse, my hometown. It's my favorite. <laughs> Are you infected? Are you Bobcat Goldthwait? Are those salt potatoes? Uh, yeah. Go, go right ahead. Thanks. You never know who you're going to meet in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Oh, I need to do this. Thanks. What, what just happened? Well, that wraps it up for tonight's episode. I think I'm going to get out of here because who knows what's around the next corner. Remember, folks, subscribe and survive. And stick around because next episode, we cook with Batman. Are you Bobcat Goldwaith? Goldwaith. Goldwaith? We should just do it really fast. Go, yeah, go yeah. like this. Go.
Are you infected? Are you Bobcat Goldblum? Go All right. Sorry.